a couple of minutes because we're going off the air at 10 o'clock and, and you'll be able to get all these numbers uh, during the evening right here on WYLN, but we're going off the air at 10 o'clock. I must talk about, about this statement. If you like your present insurance, you can keep it. Period. Period. No matter what. June 15th, 2009. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Your premiums will go down $2,500 per year. The question I have to the panel is, was that a lie? I'll a answer lie. that. I will answer that. It was not stated once. It was stated 29 times, 29 times on camera. There was no, uh, no caveat. Caveats. There was no clarification. There was no if. There was no but until the last 24 hours when that was added in. That was a lie. I am a strong believer, and I know this is a strong word and some people don't like to say it. I believe this president should be impeached. I think any other president would have been impeached, not only for this, but also for the lie he told is related to Benghazi. He knew it wasn't a video within 24 to 48 hours after the attack, and he stood in front of the United Nations the week of September 20th on camera and continued to blame the, the video. His administration has been suppressing witness testimony, and he has, as far as I'm concerned, the blood of four Americans on his hands. I believe he should be impeached. Wow, okay, I, I didn't expect anything different from you. Well, uh, David? here's the thing. First <laughs> off, when he said that the, you could keep your own health care, right? The health care, that's 5% of the people in the country who are on individual plans. Those are the plans that are getting canceled, okay? Is there a problem with the website? Yes. No, wait a minute, David. It, wait, 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 that's not my question. Nine million people that, are losing That's not their my insurance. question. My is, question is whether or not he lied to the American people. When he I said, think he exaggerated. I don't think he lied. Wait a minute, wait a I don't minute. think you could say Exaggerated, uh, disingenuous, uh, listen, mendacity. Every, I mean, how many words would I use there? How many words would I use? Every politician, when they are are running or when they are selling their program, right? They are not going to tell the entire truth. And if we think, okay, if we think the presidents are, 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 are going to say, I'll never lie to you, it's going to be Jimmy Carter all over again. You can say he lied, you can say he's going to be impeached, but let me tell you something about this health care plan. This health care plan right now, who's your favorite baseball team down there? Uh, no, sir, wait, wait no, who's wait your wait favorite minute. baseball I, I, team? So he's totally avoided the question. I'm not, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm he exaggerated. The, I'm, we're not talking about Obamacare, we're talking about what the president said to the American people. He, I'll tell you why this is important. I'll tell you why the lie is important, because it started way back in 2009, and had he not said what he said, it would have been very difficult for him to get the 60 votes in the Senate. I but guarantee he, you that. He lied to, when he lied to the American elected. people, they said, hey, what's the big deal here? I can keep my insurance. I can go back to the voters and say, look it, you have nothing to lose. You can keep your insurance. So he got the 60 votes without one Republican vote, but you know, and he got the 60 votes. It would have been very difficult if he had said, wait, you can keep your insurance providing it meets the criteria that I set down for these, for these insurance policies. And I know a little bit about adverse selection. And I've got to tell you, that's what you're getting right now. But the average age of people signing up, very few people are signing, but the average age is 51. And most of the people have a... Ill. Are, have an yeah, ongoing exactly. illness. Here, Young people are not signing up. So the important thing, the important thing is not the merits of Obamacare, is whether or not there was a lie. He basically was there a lie. Was there a lie? He exaggerated. Okay. Did Ronald Reagan? Did no, Ronald Reagan did, 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 lie? I'm about not talking about Ronald. I'm not talking, talking about Ronald about, Reagan. Hey, he brought up Benghazi for crying out loud. We're, we're talking about tell you something. Twenty nine. Twenty nine times. You think the presidents will tell the truth all the time. That is not the case. He made an exaggeration. An exaggeration. Just like Bush with weapons of mass destruction. Right. All I can say is, Governor Casey used to say this. Boy, the you're, late, you're, the late you're Governor Casey. The, you're the true David Yonkai no, no, coming the out The late now. Governor Casey used to say this. The true right? David Yonkai. You, what did you do when you had the power? Obama's mistake, and I'm a Democrat saying this, Obama's mistake was when he decided to get this truncated version of health care. If he had done what he needed to do and had, an, had, had a um, public option where it was a one-payer system, we would not have this problem. A single-payer single payer system. I've lived in a country a that had universal health care. I lived in Australia. You know how long it took me to get in just because I had the sniffles? Two 
two weeks. Australia two is weeks. not America, and Australia is not the healthcare system of are you, this are country. You, you're and I want to tell single you, payer, you're that's another word for socialized medicine. And single, it doesn't work. It, w it doesn't work. Medicare is a single payer system. Let, well, that's what, how, how, about the, how about the fraud? How about the fraud in Medicare? I mean, that's another great let's struggle. Let's get back to the topic fraud. of lies. All I can say you, I, is, you are you were wonderful at jumping off the question. Right. You what? jumped off the question. I'm not jumping off. Yes, you jumped off the you question. You asked me whether the president lied. And, and you said, I basically said he exaggerated. Well, how, what's the exaggeration? Well, tell me, tell me where's the exaggeration. Like well, tell me where's tell me where the exaggeration <laughs> is. The exaggeration is that he said you would be able to keep your health insurance. But that's an and absolute an assert, statement. And that's to an a certain absolute extent, statement. he was correct. Oh uh, wait, okay. Let's get back to these local numbers. Oh, yeah. What do we have? Back to the locals. Let's get back. Can we? Can I'm we? At uh, home.